Well, we're actually here in the middle of Northumberland, which is where I live now, kind of turning the clock back to um, 25 years ago when I used to run around the track a little bit quicker than I do these days. You know, 1985 was, um, will always be etched in my memory through the three world records in 19 days, and um, I'm probably as, as, amazed, as amazed as most people that, that those records still stand. I still have very vivid memories of crossing the line, and the line came just in time because I took off at the bell um, you know, it was a big race, Saida Wito, Joachim Cruz, both Olympic champions from the year before and it was the first big event of 85. As I came into the home straight I could hear the crowd and the atmosphere in Nice was always good, particularly in the home straight. I didn't realise that they were cheering because Saeed was closing with every stride. You know, I made it to the line and crossed the line I just in the last three four strides felt him, you know, you can feel a presence right there. So I, I sort of dipped for the line which 1500 meter runners don't normally do. And then looked at the clock immediately and saw we'd run under 3.30, which was a you know, fantastic feeling. It was a barrier to break. It was a you know, world record. It was a personal best for me, obviously. After I, I beat Saeed, I, I felt a little bit, because um, he'd run under 3.30. Nobody had run under 3.30. So he, the two of us had kind of done something nobody else had done before. But I knew that I was going to get all of the accolades because I'd won the race just by that much. And I had the world record. So he'd broken the old world record, but I was just ahead of him. You know, the technology we, we have these days, I know when I sit in the commentary box we rely on it, you know, the, the, the systems that are put in place by you know, the likes of Atos Origin at uh, 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 major championships and things mean that we immediately get the result. Well, that wasn't the case back then. And when I broke world record in Budapest, I was kind of, OK, the clock didn't say anything, I went on a lap of honour, I'm looking at the commentators, kind of saying, did I break it or not? They didn't know. And it took about 10, 15 minutes for the photo finish to be analysed and then eventually it was announced to the crowd I'd broken the world record by one hundredth of a second. Well now we get those results you know, within a second and we know immediately. Mm -hmm.